cold part, money in my pocket. I'm single, my car, I'm strong, and I want to do it. Fix it up, I'm a beast with the flip. Yeah, the money don't stop. Slub and like to leave it, coming for real. The video's coming, you just wait for the drop. Tell your friends they're gonna shed his wheels. You can catch me stupid around in a lot, hey. Look his wheels and deals. Lucky's Wheels and Deals. We back at it again with another live video, you guys. So today we're over at the auction. Y'all see, I got the everybody Camaro. If y'all missed yesterday's video or the video when I got this, these rims put on, got the original. I guess these are the 2002. This is the 2000, and I got the chrome ones to match the, the chrome SS. Look at him. Look at him. There's a good little picture. Good vision right there chrome on chrome you know the little chrome is all blacked out but we got chrome back here chrome chrome tips so we got a little chrome going on um i want to get the camaro chrome like a chrome little bezel to go around the license plate holder but yeah man we work on it little by little by little Still ain't had this car over a year yet, so we making progress. We making progress. Woo! It is cold to the mug. I don't think in this car do I got my. I don't think I got my uh, big jacket in here. I think I got it in my truck. Yeah, I don't have it in. But anyways, guys, let's walk up in here. It's cold. It's freezing. Uh, there's a couple cars I got on my list. We're gonna see if we can grab them. If we can't, we up out of there. Locked in. That's not right. Oh, they got way more cars here through the night. Uh, Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. See what else I can find out here, real quick. I don't even know where to begin. Probably cut through them, probably cut through a little bit kind of glance and see what's out here real quick one dime so guys i think i got a good deal other than one of my guys bidding against me man but i mean that's that it is what it is man so I man could this hood could use another paint job fix this put that together respray this hood got oh my guy wilson to do that for me respray that hood and let's respray this. Fix this dent. We'll fix this dent. Probably just better off. Yeah, probably better off just spray painting the whole car. So I might go to Mako. And it, oh, we got the 2.0 turbo. Hold on, wait a minute. I didn't know it was a. Oh, we got push start. Huh? Where is the dent in here? Oh, the key right in there. Oh, broken ass key. All right, guys. So, I don't have no gas in here, of course. What the heck? You trying to shut off? What are you trying to shut off? this yesterday oh man Test driver, make sure this transmission good before we worry about some body work.
It's long gas, so hopefully that's it. I don't know what that chick engine light's on for. I think we put some gas in here. We'll probably be good. the little 1.5 it make it different with that extra uh 2.0 with them extra uh, five liters man man they got this thing compact that make it hard to get up out of here oh man let's see how many, how much, how many miles can we go We can go 59 miles. What? Before we have to put gas in this thing, that thing looks kind of low to me. If you ask me. Well, I guess we can 60. It even went up. I'm gonna try to go put this whole thing on the highway, y'all. Man, it looks pretty clean. Got a little mist to it. I think it's something we can we can deal with. Maybe put my coverage on it. This hero, man. It's a little nippy in here. All the tents on there, like I like. It's a dark colored car, like I like. Something low key, a little slider. Creeping up on somebody. What the hell is that? I think I got a good deal. We're gonna see how good this thing drives. Man, it's packed, man. I don't know. It ain't that. I mean, there's a lot of people up here than normal because it's tax season. But then they got a lot of cars out here. Like you can't even get to the parking lot. I think it is better parking out on the street on the curb somewhere. Something could be going on with the turbo. Let's see. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that turbo. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that turbo. So, I don't know if this car would be a good car for right around out here or for California. It is a good gas saver, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this would be a good car for uh, California, though. I don't know, they be tripping with the tent on, on the front windshield. I mean, I could always remove it, but nah, like, nah. I like the tent. Give me the ticket. What they say, I'm gonna take the ticket every time. <laughs> seem pretty good and the transmission seem pretty good. I don't 
know, I got to give y'all the good, the bad, the ugly on the channel, man. It ain't always going to be a pretty sight, but hey, this is my life. This is what I do. All he do is buy cars and sell them. That's all like he can do. That's all he's good at. He just buy cars and sell them. Buying junk and selling junk and making money is my hobby. Big bowling is my hobby. Hey. I got my blinker on. Come on, man. Oh, man. Uh oh, we need, we need two hands for this. Hold on, y'all. Let's do my little thing. I want me to shut up. So we're going to shut up and drive. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Woo, the turbo kick in. Woo. Oh yeah, I came up. Too bad I don't got the sunroof, but it's not a deal breaker. This car drives, it drives good on the highway. It got, it might need gas, so I'm gonna see what that check engine light's on. But other than that, man, it's a, like a good, it's a good buy. I know a lot of y'all guys like, how much, y'all guys guess how much I pay for it, and I'll let y'all know. Or should I just tell y'all right now? Um, should I tell you? Nah, I don't play games like that. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. I paid four thousand for it, so I think I got it for a good deal. I think uh, I seen some of them going. I seen some of them going up for fifteen thousand to to ten thousand. I think the cheapest one I seen was for seven thousand. So I'll say I did pretty good. I mean, it needs a little work, but it's pretty clean as a two thousand sixteen. Um, is the newest Malibu out, you know what I'm saying? But it's hot. So I think I did good for 4,000. Y'all guys comment below, let me know if I did pretty good. I think I did, I think I got a good buy. It might need a tune-up oil change or something, maybe a sensor, I don't know. But on the highway, and then need probably some suspension work. I could hear a little squeaking. Probably could put some WD-40 on there or something. Or some, uh, what's that, blaster with PB or PB, PB blaster on there. And that might fix the uh, 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 because really the suspension feels good. It's just making it squeaking. So we'll probably put some of that on there. That'll take care of the suspension. Um, probably could use the tune-up oil change, like the basic, what you would normally do. But other than that, man, this thing gets up. So it might be a sensor, though. I'm going to put the check engine light on there. It could be an O2 sensor. It could be anything. Um, but I think this car, and then we're going to do, like, the little body work, little stuff, change the mirrors. Um, and fix that dent on the side. Probably paint the roof and the 
or we might just, it probably come out cheaper just to paint the whole car to be honest with y'all have our boy wilson just do the body work the primer and then go take it over there to make them get it painted cheaper man i'm not i'm about saving money i got so i got multiple cars i'm not sticking all my money into one car now if i i, I can see if i was just one guy i mean one person one car type of guy and i yeah i'll throw all my money into one car but i got over like 15 20 cars we're gonna try to save some money i mean this, this is my little get around car i'm trying to keep it low cost because y'all know me i'll keep something and then i'll turn around like damn i sold it or oh it's for sale so y'all know me I ain't keeping nothing, but I think this is a cool little low-key car for me just to be mobbing around in and run around in. And I can put my daughter back there, keep the car seat back there. That's what I'll probably do, keep the car seat in there. So when I got her, cause I have her every day. I'm with my daughter every day. I have her, I ride with her every day. And I hate, I had her in the Chevelle, the Camaro, all them damn two-door cars I got, the IROC. I was gonna have the Nova, but I'm like, yeah, I gotta have my daughter, so yeah, yeah. I was not gonna put her in there because you don't got no back seat, duh. But this would be a cool little, cool little family car for me and my daughter, man. You know what I mean? Plus, a good little gas set where I can run around. I do a lot of driving, ripping, and running. So, yeah. We got work, we got work to do. We got work to do, y'all, so. I don't know, I'll probably come back and get this thing later. Yeah, I'll probably come back and get this thing later if someone can help me. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to park this thing yet. I don't know if they're gonna have enough room over here. This used to have room, but now they building and doing other stuff. I see people parking over there. That thing be acting like they wanna shut off. I don't know, we're gonna see if there's any parking over here. I doubt it. Anyone leave? Uh, oh, right there. And I'm about to hop in my Camaro, so perfect, perfect. In my little Malibu. This up later on. Hell, yeah, and there's a good car, man. But I want to see something though. Man, I love doing YouTube, man. I love vlogging. I love talking with y'all, man. I don't know I'm a loner. I don't have no friends, really. So we start it up. Hold on. All right, so you have to have it in this. This is just like how it pops kind of like in a little slot. Uh, if anybody knows, is that is it? Do I have to do it like that because the the battery's dead in the remote or something's wrong with the remote? But well, we can get that fixed later. I actually like this color, uh, so we can. Let me get my sure. I don't know what the hell is supposed to go right there. I don't know what's supposed to go right there. I think I did pretty good, man. We can clean it up. I got the 2.0 turbo. This thing gets it down the road. So, um, yeah, we can just get a, a lot of the body work. Replace this. Get the top done. So, I kind of came out on my mission, what I wanted. And I like this color. So, we could go back with that color. I don't know, will it be better just to have Wilson paint that or 
paint the whole car. I don't know if we can pop this out. This might pop out. That might pop out. Oh, man. That might pop out. Might pop out. It look like it could pop out. That needs to be painted. Then I might as well just paint the whole whole little car. Cause there's a lot of like scratches and stuff like that. I don't know if that stuff could be buffed out. But it's a cool little Malibu, man. Cool little Malibu. Just going over what I bought. Oh yeah, I did. I'm proud of myself. I did pretty good with this one. I shall say 2016 got 176,000 miles on it. I know cars with, man, they drive cars with more and more miles out here. Where's the key? To the key to my Camaro SS, baby. I'm glad the sun came out. Oh. But it's still a little nippy outside. Alright guys, let's continue with our day, shall we? Premium fuel. Get, get that good old premium in there. It's already going to save gas. There's a four cylinder, but it got that turbo in it. So maybe the last fuel did not put premium in there. So maybe it'll even drive you even better. Premium fuel recommended. So we're going with that premium non-ethanol. So there's a I guess it's I don't know if I could put ethanol in here, but but yeah man, we in the Malibu that I got yesterday. You know what I mean? I wanna get an oil change on it. The oil a little black. So we're gonna start off with that. But other than that, man, it's a cool little low-key car for me. Like I I don't know if I told y'all, but shit, I spent four four grand on it. But I think I did pretty good for four thousand. You know what I mean? 2016. Forgot how many miles? 178 or something like that. I don't know how many miles. 170 something on there. I forget how many miles on there. But so far it drives good. Well, of course y'all see me drive it on the highway. I forget. It's another day, y'all. So. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all guys can see my little, my little, uh, man, these are comfortable, man. Got the J's on my feet. Uh-huh. Just real comfortable. I gotta go get some more different colors. I don't know what this is, by toothpaste, man. You're slipping. You're slipping. You're messy. But anyways, guys, so I'm real comfortable right now. 52 bucks in this thing. We spending money every video. Y'all say I'm at the gas station or the rim shop. That means I'm spending money every video. We spending money every day. Every day you come outside, you spending money. All right, y'all. I got a doctor's appointment. I got to be at. I'm always late. I'm always on my way. Oh, got to be there at 1030. It's 952. Seems like it's island better. Yeah, I noticed that. See, I remember that when I that Camaro, my Camaro SS, how that was. The way how that was, it didn't want to uh, run correctly. I remember it was flashing, check engine lights on, and all that good stuff. And um, and I put the premium in there, and then I started driving, and then it just kind of it just. Start driving good with no problems. No flashing check engine light, none of that. So, yeah, pretty much. That was good. All right, so that's 176,000 miles on. Y'all comment below, let me know, was it worth it? I'm seeing these cars go anywhere from 8,000 to 16,000. You know what I mean? So, I guess it all depends on what it is, but I think this is just an LT. 
and the suspension we're gonna have to lube it up with some some uh maybe wd-40 or a pb pb blaster y'all comment below let me know which one is better for me to put on the shocks and sometimes y'all gotta be uh in the comment i'll be reading the comments but i don't be watching the video so i'll be reading the comments i'll be forgetting what i said so sometimes let me know oh on the malibu y'all sometimes you gotta be more um um what's that word called uh now i can't even think it's too early in the morning <clears throat> to be more exact what you guys are talking about that's not the word i'm trying to use though but yeah like if, if you in the comments be like okay yeah the shocks on that malibu because you can't just say i'll oh, spray it on the shocks i'm like damn what car are they talking about i got multiple cars so you guys say yeah on the new malibu with the pb blaster on the on all the shocks on there and that should work like be more specific yeah the word is specific not yeah, yeah, Pacific. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, y'all guys be more Pacific in the comments. Sometimes I get confused. Like, what was they talking about? If I be reading all the comments, I might not like them all or heart them all or, or reply back to them all, but I do read them. So I um, appreciate all y'all that interact with me and support me. I can't say it enough. I'm going to probably say it in every video, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, Lucky Nation, for real. I love doing this. Y'all giving me a platform, giving me something that I love to do. I love to vlog. I love to talk. I love to, uh, I love to, I love what I do, man. You know what I mean? So, if you love what you do. It never feels like work. Even though this is work, this this ain't easy. I know a lot of people that, from the outside, that's just watching videos, it's not easy coming up with content every day for four, five, six years. Of doing YouTube every day, coming up with titles, coming up with thumbnails, coming up with what am I about to do different? And best believe, I'm going to Miami, so we're gonna see what we're gonna see what kind of we y'all gonna, gonna get different content. And don't act like y'all never seen me go somewhere else before on this channel. Well, I don't know, it's been a minute, but like, I think last time I went, well, I went on the cruise. I think that's the last time I went somewhere. That video didn't do too good because y'all kind of like me stuck in the same circle. But anyway, but we're gonna get out there and, and, and make it do what it do, man. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna enjoy myself. I mainly wanna relax. That's the real reason why I'm going out there. I just need a break from day to day life. You know what I mean? So I just need to get away. And I'm going out there. I already got two trips planned out there today. I mean, uh, this year. Uh, I wanna travel somewhere. I need to go to California. I wanna hit another cruise for sure. Um, so I'm going, I'm going out the country, going to Miami twice. And now I know I'm going to California for sure because I'm about to get either this car ready to go to California or, or another car. So, I don't know yet. This car would be cool to go to California. I don't know, but I need to make sure I, since I got all the connections out here, get them all the way ready, cleaned up, detailed out. Uh, if I'm going to paint them, fix them, repair them. Because everything's cheaper out this way. For, well, I don't know been a minute since i've been in california but anyways i'm pretty sure everything's cheaper and then ship it out there and then i have something cool to drive while i'm out there this is something cool just if i get around get to the car shows make it do what it do man um and tap back out there along with my my move to miami i'm gonna probably not move directly to miami i'm gonna visit a few times and then eventually you know lock down over there but I want to see what it see what Miami has to offer before I make that kind of commitment and get a house or apartment out there or something. I don't I don't know yet, but I know I'm gonna be probably traveling a little more. I want to travel a little bit more this year, so y'all bear with me, man. I think I gotta turn right here. I think this is the one I gotta turn. I forgot what else I wanted to tell y'all. Um, um, I can't think right now. I'll let y'all a little bit. Let's get it. So we got this pretty much leveled out. A little bro came over here and raked this around. Well, I wasn't here. Pops had him do it. So I guess he raked this around. He broke it down. It ain't a big ass hump like it was. This part looks pretty good. It's raining out here, y'all. So uh, I got this guy. Swearing up and down, he gonna buy this uh, Camaro. I sent him all the videos and all that good stuff. Told him everything about it. So hopefully it works out for the best. And hopefully he has, rides around in this nice Camaro. 
I could spend more time with it than I could. And I'll take that money and reinvest. You know what I mean? I hear some people will be saying to themselves about elevating and, you know, oh, let me get a you know, new car to elevate. Me, when I say I elevate, I want to see more, more like, not just like more money in the bank account. Of course, I want to see more money in my bank account, but uh, I also want to see, uh, first pay attention, I also want to see a lot of change in my life, like more to doing more, you know what I mean? Traveling more, having more fun, uh, just switching up everything, living life. You know what I mean? That's that to me. That's more elevating, man. I just be grinding and working and doing the same stuff, but I'm making money. But I just feel like I'm in the same old trap, making money, making money, grind, 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 grind. That's cool and all, but for me, I've been doing it for so long and not enjoying my money. And tomorrow's not promised, so uh, I kind of want to start focusing on traveling. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Uh, I just got another uh, another trip in the making, going to Puerto Rico. So I got it. I got about like four or five trips for sure, vacation trips this year. Probably try to get another one. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's just what I what I call an elevator. It's not so much. Oh, I I got the new uh, Corvette or I got this car or that. You know, I just elevate. I just want to elevate my whole lifestyle, like doing different stuff. You know what I mean? Having more money to do more stuff. You know, when my daughter get bigger, like that's to me that's elevating. You know what I mean? Having newer cars, you know, it's cool. You know what I mean? But it's ready. It's time for me to live my life and not just spend all my money on cars and stuff. So I'm just on another chapter of my life right now. So I just wanted to let y'all know if y'all, you know out there wondering for the uh, lucky nation but let me pull this car out and hopefully i sell it man y'all wish me luck if not i'll let y'all know if i don't sell it there's nothing well we still have it y'all we did not sell it so people please please stop wasting my mother in time Circles until the time's done. I'm the winner, like, hey, hey, cuss, cuss, on the hood of the scraper.